What's up everybody? Today we're going to be comparing the prints off of two of the most popular 3D printers on the market. We have the Elegoo Centauri Carbon and we have the Bamboo Lab A1. Now you might be saying why would you compare this bed slinger to a Core XY enclosed 3D printer? There's no competition. Well, frankly, the Bamboo Lab A1 costs $100 more than the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. It's actually in stock at this time. And if you want, you can purchase a combo for $550 to get your full multicolor printing. Now, you might say, well, what about printing with ABS and ASA? Well, really, I would say probably 75% or probably even more people don't print with ABS or ASA. And you're just looking for something to churn out quality prints. I have over 1200 hours on my Bamboo Lab A1 and I haven't done a lick of maintenance to it. So therefore, I think it's totally worth entertaining the Bamboo Lab A1 over the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. It's just based on your needs. Now, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna compare four of the same exact prints printed on each 3D printer. I used Elegoo filament for each one of them and I tried to stay as close as possible to stock settings. So in the Bamboo Lab A1 slicer or Bamboo Studio, I used the generic PLA profile. It prints at 220 degrees with a bed temperature, I believe of 65. And on the Elegoo Centauri Carbon, we printed actually with a bed temperature of zero because we're using a cool plate. Um, and then also we printed at the, and we printed with the filament at 205, which comes stock in their profile for the Elegoo filament. Now there was one print where I actually had to bump up the bed temperature to 50 degrees, but then it printed perfectly fine after that. So for the most part, the stock profiles are going to be good on both 3D printers, and we're gonna show you what we got. Now again, your results may vary, but I wanted to keep this as basic as possible, make as minimal adjustments as possible. I kept all of the slicer settings, like, like I didn't change them like at all. We're still on 15% infill. The only thing I changed on the infill was the pattern. I changed it to gyroid. Um, that's pretty much it. I didn't change anything outside of that one bed temperature adjustment on the Centauri Carbon. So let's go ahead and show you all four prints that I printed on each 3D printer. I'm gonna show each one one by one. You can make the determination on which one you think is better and then I'll reveal each one after like, you know, so much time. So the first print we have for you guys is this R2D2. So I'm gonna show them side by side. Look at that. Look, what do you guys think? Which one do you think is which? Um, the only difference between these two, not all the settings are the same. Um, like I said, I didn't pull out some of these supports but organic tree supports on every single one of the prints today overall you know i'm looking over these as well for the first time under these bright lights like i said i have some really bright lights but we're going to go ahead and reveal i don't want to waste too much of your guys' time looking at the same 3d prints you guys can always pause it and take a closer look but this is the bamboo lab a1 and this is the elegoo centauri carbon so, so far, even personally looking at these through the camera, I think round one goes to the Centauri Carbon. All right, next we printed a highly detailed Benchy. Now look, I'm gonna go ahead and look at these. So these are printed actually at 0.12 layer height. Everything else is printed at 0.2 layer height. Um, look, we may have some issues in there, but these are printed without supports, highly detailed Benchy. Um, I'll leave all the file links down below in the description. We'll move on to this one. This one had a little bit more stringing. Um, it looks like it had that same exact extrusion issue as the other one on the that front hand side or the back hand side. Um, so if we're going through here, oh, almost dropped it. But overall, these are both printed again at 0.12 layer height. Look how smooth they are. Like, guys, if you aren't happy with these, I, I really don't know what to tell you. Um, you're looking at a way higher cost 3D printer. But we're going to go ahead and reveal which one is which. And boom, this one is the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. That's how I marked them, right? I have a little Sharpie marker there. But overall, I think they both look great. I actually, um, let's see, like if we're going underneath here, maybe this one's slightly cleaner, but this is so close that it, it pretty much looks like a tie to me, honestly. I don't know. Maybe you guys see something different. Leave it in the comments down below but I would be extremely happy with both of these prints. I mean, I guess I am extremely happy with both of these prints, not I would be because obviously they're mine. All right, so next is going to be this massive like T-Rex pen holder. You actually sit them like this and it holds pens. Um, so we'll show off this one first. You can see it looks pretty clean, right? You guys remember those prints that I was showing you guys um, and how bad they looked underneath the light. Like you can see how good these look like these look way better than those previous prints that I was showing you like my Cobra S1 
stuff. You know, you can tell where some of the supports were pulled off, of course. Um, but that's to be expected, right? Those are where those layer shifts change or the layers end. Um, overall, I think this print looks fantastic. Maybe some of those vertical lines up in there. Um, here we move on to the next one, looking on the inside. Not really that vertical line stuff in there. Overall, I think they both look great. Um, this just really shows you the quality you can get off of both of these 3D printers. Let me try to... Like, overall, what do you guys think? Which one is off which 3D printer? Like I said, I'll be happy with these as well. I guess I am happy with both of these. Um, so overall, boom, let's see, where is my Sharpie marker? This one is the Elegoo Centauri Carbon, and it looks like the first one was actually the Bamboo Lab A1. So overall, really clean prints, right? Can you even really tell a difference? Um, no, I, I don't think you really can. That is from, all that, that bottom like lip there is from the model itself. Overall, really nice, crisp, clean prints. I think so. I think maybe I would give the edge the A1. It's so hard to tell, guys. Once you get these things dialed in, and even look, like I said, I'm using like stock, you know, settings. Maybe there's some minor imperfections on both of these. I don't know, like some layer lines up in here, even on the A1. But you had some of that same stuff here. Like they're doing these same exact things. Like if you put them right here, I cannot tell you which one is which. So this is going to be like a pressure test or a you know stress test of the 3D printer. On both of these, I end up do getting some really bad stringing. I'll show you guys the other one right after this one, but it's harder for me to hold and show you everything. Um, overall, both of these printers did a really fantastic job. Again, there's just a lot of stringing here. Could be some cooling things because I'm printing extremely hot. Um, the main thing of difference I found on both of these, let's see if I can get that focused in there, is kind of the overhangs on this side. If we can see here, I'll show you them on the next one. Um, but overall, it looks good. It looks like there was a slight maybe layer shift here or something. Um, but overall, the print looks really good, right? It handled the stress test. I only attempted to print these each one time, um, you know, I will go over what happened with the Centauri Carbons once I reveal which one was which, but trying to show you guys even like any imperfections. Um, overall, this one just came out looking really good. So let's go ahead and go, maybe there was some stuff in there. Uh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. So here is the next one. You can tell this front side definitely isn't as clean, I don't believe, but we don't have that layer shift down here. Um, let's go ahead and go to the overhang test. Let's go ahead and right in there, you can see, I don't believe this is as clean. You can rewind and look, I don't think this is as clean um, as it was on the other one. I think this one definitely left a lot to be desired on at least the overhangs. Um, there's not as much stringing, but that could be because this one's printed um, at a different temperature. You don't know, right? So, I mean, based on that statement, you guys can probably already tell this one is the one from the Elegoo Centauri Carbon, and the other one was from the Bamboo Lab A1. That layer shift could have been anything, right? I mean, you know, you can always slow these down as well. I kept them at stock speeds. Looking at these, extremely happy with both. I think, you know, you're getting good and bad things with each one. You know, this is printing extremely fast. I don't think the cooling as it is as good on the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. The fans are so loud, and I... I I think they need to be beefed up a little bit for how fast it prints. Um, maybe there's some smoother lines as this one goes up to like 60 degrees. You can see like these, these surface lines are starting to get worse, but you can also change that type of stuff in the settings if you really want to dial in your printer. Um, really, it's just this layer shift that's sticking out like a sore thumb on this one, but in between the actual like lettering, this one actually seems to be worse. I, I don't know. So, I mean, overall, guys, I would give these printers you know, on everything, pretty much a tie. Let me know what you think. Do you think one was better than the other? And just to cover on the Elegoo Centauri Carbons, like why I had to replant it, it basically warped because I was printing it only at zero degrees. Um, so that's why I had to reprint it, right? Because it was on the build plate. I canceled the print and it was warping on each corner because it was not hot enough. So just in general, I didn't mention speed. The Core XYs are normally faster. For example, the Benchy took me about an hour and eight minutes, but I always do bed leveling on my Bamboo Lab A1, and it took it about 
47 minutes on the Elegoo Centauri Carbon with no leveling. Um, so if I added leveling to the Centauri Carbon, I mean, the leveling on the Centauri Carbon takes forever. So just, let's just say it was like 55 minutes, which is actually being a little optimistic on the Elegoo Centauri Carbon leveling. Um, you know, it's about a 10 minute difference uh, between that print. But if you multiply that over a couple hours, you know, you can save an hour on a print here or there. But that was, you know, the one that I went ahead and looked at. That was the speed for this Benchy right here. I think there's basically no difference in print quality. I think once you get both these printers even dialed down even further, um, honestly, I think you'll be happy with either one you pick. Again, though, I've had really good experiences with my Bamboo Lab A1. I ran it, I just checked 1,201 hours or 1,201 hours with zero maintenance. The Elegoo Centauri Carbon, right? I've had a nozzle go out. So it really just depends. I encourage you guys to check out all of your options, right? You have four 3D printers, make the best decision for you and your needs, right? If you're not going to be printing uh, ABS or ASA or anything like that, I definitely think the Bamboo Lab still being a bed slinger is a good option. You can even slow the printer down and probably even get better results. I got the Bamboo Lab website, you know, see all the parts and stuff they have. Uh, again, I've had to replace the nozzle and I ha you have to go through support anytime you have an issue with the Centauri Carbon. So again, this one's not in stock, so I leave it up to you guys. I just wanted to show you guys that each printer is fully capable when it comes down to print quality. But again, the Core XY, just being a Core XY is going to print faster. Uh, you know, it was about 15, I don't know. I don't know what it was exactly, 15 to 20% faster. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see in the future, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week.